Now in this part of the question then, we're asked to give reasons why the teacher believes that she can use this data here and model it to a normal distribution. And the reasons that I would give would be something along these kind of lines. In the earlier parts, we found out that the median Q2 was 15.875, and we've worked out that the mean mu is 15.9 to one decimal place. So first of all, you can see that these two values are very similar, and that's what you would expect to have for a normal distribution. The mean and the median would be exactly the same. We're also dealing with continuous data which you need to have for a normal distribution. But I want to add more to this. I believe that because we've worked out the standard deviation sigma in the previous part as 5.8, that it's known that if you take your mean, which in this particular example is 15.9, and you go two standard deviations above and below the mean, it should encompass the majority of data. Well, if you take your standard deviation as being 5.8 and you double it and add it on to 15.9, that is, you've got to add 11.6 onto that 15.9, you get 27.5, which is up here. And if you take two standard deviations away from 15.9, in other words, take 11.6 away from 15.9, you get 4.3. And can you see that this also looks pretty impressive when you compare it to the data here, going from 4.3 to 27.5. We virtually encompass most of that data. So there would be my reasons then for saying that yes, this does look as if it follows a normal distribution.